I brought the horn for bobbing and turn the lights way down low. Let it snow, let it snow, let it snow. Snow season has already begun. We all know how unpredictable Colorado's weather can be. One day we're golfing, the next day we're shoveling. On average, Loveland receives a total of about 60 inches of snow per year. Until 1972, the city of Loveland had no snow plows. Sun and time were the major snow removal methods used. Sometimes, men stood in the open tailgate of moving dump trucks, shoveling sand onto the street. Very inefficient and unsafe. Today, primary snow fighting methods used by the city include anti-icing, plowing, and de-icing. Anti-icing agents are applied to the street before and during the early stages of a storm to inhibit snow and ice from bonding to the pavement. Anti-icing results in achieving bare pavement sooner, requires fewer chemicals, and reduces wear and tear on plows. Plows are lowered at the first sign of accumulations, usually between one half to one inch of snow. The city has 14 snow plows that are mounted to trucks and ready to go anytime snow is forecast. De-icers are used to cut through and loosen the bonded snow and ice, getting us to bare pavement conditions much sooner. Both liquid and granular chemicals are used in anti-icing and de-icing operations. The use of sand as a winter snow fighting tool has been eliminated altogether because of its many inherent drawbacks. Sand causes significant air and water quality problems, must be swept up repeatedly throughout a winter at great cost, and is actually a liability on the road surface after the snow is gone. When snow is forecast, the city's plows and spreaders are mounted to dump trucks and made ready for use. Snow removal crews monitor approaching storms and are on call any time of the day or night. The crews are in the trucks and on the roadways, usually within 45 minutes of being called out. Snow melting chemicals are spread at busy intersections, hills, bridges, curves, railroad crossings, and other trouble spots as needed. Snow removal, or plowing, begins under a three-stage priority plan. Priority one snow routes are the four-lane arterials that carry the most traffic, plus important two-lane thoroughfares. Examples of priority one snow routes are shown here in red and include Lincoln, Cleveland, Eisenhower, Wilson, Taft, 29th, Madison, and 14th Street Southwest. Priority two snow routes are collector streets, school bus routes, and streets that serve commercial and industrial zones. Examples of priority two snow routes include 18th, 22nd, Van Buren, 8th, 10th, Dotsero, Colorado, Duffield, Silverleaf, and Carlisle. Priority two streets don't get plowed until priority one streets are under control. Priority three snow routes include all remaining streets and residential streets. Priority three routes are not routinely plowed and de-iced during the winter months because their lower traffic volumes and traffic speeds do not typically warrant the expense. However, when snow accumulations are such that residents will have difficulty driving to the nearest designated plow route, a path down the center of residential streets will be plowed. Snow depths, daytime temperatures, and the time of year will be factored into the decision to plow or not plow residential streets. Remember, Loveland has 14 snow plows for 1,100 lane miles of streets, of which 700 miles are priority one and two. Usually by the time priority one and priority two streets have been plowed, the remaining streets are already passable thanks to neighborhood vehicles and mother nature. Residents will always be responsible for opening up their own driveways. Due to heavy or successive snows, excessive shade, or a continuous freeze-thaw cycle, a dangerous buildup of ice can occur along the sides of streets or at intersections. Areas are prioritized for removal of this ice and snow based upon safety risks 
and traffic levels. No parking signs may be posted, and 72 hours later, any remaining vehicles can be towed at the owner's expense. Okay, those are the basics. Now let's answer some of the most frequently asked questions. In some communities, the city plows residential streets every snowstorm. Why not here? As mentioned earlier, residential streets are not routinely plowed or de-iced during the winter because traffic volumes and speeds are so much lower than what typically occur on the Priority 1 and Priority 2 designated plow roads. The plows have blocked my driveway with piled snow. Will the city remove it? With more than 25,000 residential driveways in the city, the city simply can't do it. The city's topmost responsibility is to keep traffic moving safely along its 700 lane miles of designated Priority 1 and 2 snow routes. City plows have buried my sidewalk with plowed snow. Will the city remove it? Only on some arterial plow routes. When this happens, city crews or contractors are deployed soon after the final pass of the plow trucks to remove the majority of this piled snow at no expense to the property owner. If, after 24 hours of the last snowfall, your buried sidewalk along an arterial street has not been cleared of plow thrown snow, call the streets division at 962-2529. Can I park my car on a designated plow route? You may, but when it begins to snow, we request that you park your car in your driveway or on a side street. This allows snow plows to do a much better job of snow removal because they do not have to continually swerve around parked cars. Moving your car will also prevent having it blocked in by plowed snow. Cars may park along the street once all plowing operations are no longer needed. Why not plow to the center of the street? Simply put, plowing to the middle of the street would create a number of intolerable hazards. Plowing against oncoming traffic would obviously be quite dangerous. Traffic flow would become restricted due to piled snow in the center of the street. Snow piled in the middle of the road would also cause site obstructions. Finally, the ever-present freeze and melt cycle from melting piles would recreate dangerous icy conditions on the traffic lanes every night and would also lead to rapid pavement failure. Are the de-icing chemicals applied to our roadway safe? The city carefully selected its de-icing materials to be more environmentally friendly and less corrosive than the rock salt, calcium chloride, or sand salt mixes commonly used in other snow belt cities. While these special chemicals are quite expensive, the city uses only about one-third the amount it used previously. Sand used caused significant air and water quality problems, had to be swept up repeatedly throughout a winter at great cost, and was slippery on the road surface after the snow was gone. The city's selected de-icers are safer than most but they still are chloride-based products. Therefore, it is recommended that residents wash their vehicles thoroughly after each snowstorm. I would like to volunteer to shovel the sidewalk of an elderly, ill, or handicapped person. Who should I contact? Wonderful! You will most certainly bring a smile to the face of someone in need. Please call the city's Snow Squad Coordinator at 962 2377 for a temporary or seasonal assignment. My neighbors never shovel their sidewalks. What can I do? City residents are required by ordinance to clear their sidewalks and driveway crossings and alley crossings within 24 hours after a snowfall's end. To report an unshoveled sidewalk, please call the police department at 667 21 Five one. After providing ample notice to the offending residents, the city will levy both a removal fee and a fine if it is forced to clear the walk. If your sidewalk is still icy after being shoveled, apply a de-icing agent, available for purchase at most grocery and hardware stores. We hope that answers some of your questions. Here are a couple more safety tips. 
Under Colorado statute, motorists must yield to all emergency vehicles, including snow plows. Safety of motorists and the plow operator is of the utmost concern. Always use extreme caution and consideration when approaching any snow plowing operation. Snow is routinely pushed to the right side of the vehicle and can contain road debris such as rocks, wood, and other damaging projectiles. A typical snow plow can weigh up to 70,000 pounds and can be difficult to stop suddenly on slick roads. Be aware of the changing road conditions and leave appropriate distance between yourself and the snow plow. When summer temperatures are in the 80s, it's difficult to imagine snow-covered streets, but that's when preparations for winter actually begin. To learn more about the City of Loveland's snow and ice control policies or procedures, please call the Street Division at 962-2529 or visit the City's Snow and Ice website at www.cityofloveland.org. Thanks for watching. And turn the lights way down low. Let it snow, let it snow, let it snow.